Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, DNA links Lebanese and Canaanites. And we are August 2nd, 2017. Scripture references out of Deuteronomy 20, verses 16 and 17. But in the cities of these people that the Lord your God is giving you for an inheritance, you shall save alive nothing that breathes, but you shall devote them to complete destruction. The Hittites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, as the Lord your God has commanded. Now, cultural, scientific experts, and atheists just have a field day with these verses. God is a mean, old, vicious ogre who is committed to genocide. What kind of God is he? I don't want anything to do with this kind of God. And on and on and on. Now the problem with God is he has the audacity to tell the human race that he is in charge. Culture and law are on his terms, not humanities. There is one way to do things, and that's his way. God is authority. God will say no. And God will define the consequences and execute accordingly. Now these people above were not interested in God's law or worshiping the Hebrew God. And we got a, you know, three examples. Exodus 20 verse 3, you shall have no other gods before me. Proverbs 10 verse 16, the wages of the righteous is life, the income of the wicked, punishment. Romans 6:23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now, if you just take, you know, Exodus 20, verse 3, you shall have no other gods before me. If you don't, that's considered a sin, and that's very offensive to some people. So, who are we kidding? To this day, those who do not believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they could care less. And that's true for the atheist as well. Now, the, at issue is uh, a little excavation dig up in Sidon, and that's where the cursor is, in Lebanon. And a Canaanite genome was sequenced from five buried bodies near the town of Sidon, Lebanon. This is the same ancient Sidon from the Bible. Canaan also happens to be the father of Sidon. So if you go back to Genesis 10, verse 15, Canaan fathered Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth. And Sidon is located on the middle coast of the Mediterranean Sea. So we can see that on a map. And then also Genesis 10, verse 19a, and the territory of the Canaanites extended from Sidon in the direction of Gerar as far as Gaza, down here in the south. Now these five bodies that were uh, exhumed, uh, they were buried approximately 3,700 years ago. Now if the dating of these five bodies is correct, this would place the Israelites in captivity in Egypt. And the, the DNA of these five bodies that were exhumed was compared to 99 modern-day Lebanese citizens. So the timeline fits. Uh, there would be Canaanites in this area 3,700 years ago because Israel was still in captivity. They were about to come out of captivity 100 years later. Now this, is, this study is per the American Journal of Human Genetics. And what they found is that modern-day Lebanese citizens... Uh, share 93% of their DNA with the ancient Canaanites. So in a stunning turn of events, scientists were wrong in their assumptions and expectations and comparisons of the two groups. And the following is from the National Geographic. While the researchers were surprised at the level of genetic continuity between the ancient Canaanites and modern Lebanese, after some 4,000 years of war, migration, and conquest in the area, they caution against drawing too many conclusions on ancient history based solely on genetic data. Now, if you're interested in the uh, articles, you can check out nationalgeographic.com, uh, Canaanite Bible, Ancient DNA, Lebanon Genetics, uh, Archaeology. Also, the Los Angeles Times at latimes.com, L.A., S-C-I-S-N, Canaanite, Lebanese genetics. Uh, so with these findings, you know, scientific, cultural experts, and atheists, they were quick to point out, hey, this disproves the Bible. 
the Canaanites were wiped out in the Bible, and they're still here in modern-day Lebanon. Well, a couple problems. One, these experts have not read the Bible. Uh, also, this would the timeline again fits. Never mind that for the experts. Uh, Egypt was still, or I'm sorry, the Israelites were still in Egypt. So the Canaanites would have been there. But also, uh, it also doesn't take into account ancient Israel was disobedient to God's command. Back in Deuteronomy 20, verses 16, 17. You know, the original Bible verses read at the start of this uh, post. Uh, clean out the land. Cleanse the land. Well, Israel didn't do it. Uh, and Scripture bears witness to Israel's disobedience to cleanse the land. Israel used the Canaanites as slave labor instead. And after 400 years of bondage in Egypt, you know, as far as Israel was concerned, it was time for another group of people to work for Israel. So they directly dis disobeyed what God said as far as cleansing the land. And we can find that in Joshua 17, verses 12 through 13. Yet the people of Manasseh, it's a tribe of Israel, could not take possession of those cities but the Canaanites persisted in dwelling in that land. And that's this area, right up here to the north. That was supposed to be to the tribe of Manasseh. They, they chose, now when the people of Israel grew strong, they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but did not utterly drive them out. So the text is real clear. Hey, they didn't do what, what was expected of them. And the same thing is backed up in Judges 1, verses 27 and 28. It restates the same thing that we just read in Joshua. So the bottom line is this. The Canaanites of the Bible were real people. And they are significant genetic relatives to modern-day citizens near Sidon, Lebanon. So if you're interested in this story, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com. Uh, keywords, Lebanon, Canaanites, Deuteronomy 20. Um, appreciate you guys listening. Take care. Have a good one.